It occurred to me that we speak of the self that falls away, but rarely do we go into great detail on the exact qualities of this self. The seeker, grasper, rejecter, claimer, doer, ever sifting, weighing, measuring. This is the energy of the self. We know the body doesn't fall with the self when it does. So let's talk about what falls and what doesn't. The body doesn't fall, but identification with the body does. Instead of looking in the mirror with labels of how I am, or should be, or should not be, self-judgments, or beliefs in superiority, self-righteousness, self-loathing, self-love, disgust, shame, sorrow, confidence. There can be a simplicity childlike wonder and compassion, like looking at innocence or a wild animal, without the heavy burden of identification and beliefs of how others see me. Any of the habitual, conditioned thoughts that were there before the sense of self fell can still arise randomly, but when they do, they feel light, with no more significance than a bird chirping outside the window. Then the thought is gone, like it never even was. What also does not fall away are thoughts and emotions. Without the sense of self, thoughts and emotions become much lighter versions of what they once were. Thoughts are apparently linked to the brain and nervous system and directly to the conditioning that the body has endured. Therefore, thoughts are but a habitual mechanism for survival and trauma prevention for the body. The brain is heavily influenced by our societal and cultural conditioning as well. This is all a natural part of being a human. So of course it makes perfect sense that the brain would continue to project thoughts Many seekers assume the mind will be silent after the self falls. This is a misconception, although the mind does seem much calmer and in general less active. The ability to believe that thoughts are true, relevant, meaningful, or purposeful at all This is what falls. Thoughts are no longer mistaken for an accurate symbol of what they attempt to reflect. The inability to believe in thoughts is an ability to discern the contents of mind from direct experience. The clarity frees up space and energy that was being spent before on trying to solve life like a difficult puzzle that we mistook to be ourselves. A great weight is lifted without the capacity to assign meaning to thought. They are finally seen for what they are, fleeting, perpetual, automatic, a creative tool run amok. 
a spontaneous, effortless, animalistic survival mechanism. And no one is the thinker of thought. An emotion, another common misconception held is that when the self falls, I won't have these disturbing emotions to deal with. That's not at all what happens. It is simply seen that there is no inherent wrongness in the emotions that we attempted to hide and avoid at all cost before. And as they are seen clearly to be impersonal, and there is a ground of neutrality that allows them to freely come and go without the lingering stickiness they once held. They are more intensely felt than ever, without the meaning of stories told. They can move and express quickly. And like magic, they are allowed to leave as mysteriously as they arose. This is liberation for the appearance of thoughts and emotions. With no one, and no reason to resist, or say, I should have healed this by now. What is wrong with me? When I finally wake up, this will go away. This is not true. Thoughts such as these are utter falsity and serve no purpose other than protecting the psychological self from its own demise. The mind can be very convincing and tricky until it's not. The five senses and the perceiving of the apparent world and myriad phenomenon pretty much remains as it was before. Everything still arises without the arrogance of the one who knows what everything is. I like to say that nothing changed and everything is different. The self is subtle and when it falls, life is clear, simple, obvious, effortless, evanescent. Now let's talk about the qualities of self that fall away, with no hope of return. Beliefs fall away. Even the belief that I am someone. All beliefs. Because life is now unknowable and inconceivable. Belief thoughts can still arise and are not taken seriously. Meaning falls away, even when meaningful thoughts arise. They are immaterial, and even humorous. Purpose falls away. Life is seen clearly to be inherently without intention. Sticky interest and momentum of thoughts and emotions. They come and go as if they never were. Without the interest, the brain naturally lets go of more information, which has an effect on what is seen to be significant and stored as memory. Time becomes only a concept and becomes timelessness all things arise in this immediacy. Appearances die as they are born and are gone, as if they never were, without stickiness. Conceptual truth falls away. There is no such thing. There may be the truth of the taste of an apple, but not knowing what an apple or taste is. 
Questions fall away. Because there are no answers. And what is a marvel is that as all the qualities of self fall away, it is seen that there was actually no falling away of the self. Because there was never a self to actually fall. It was an illusion. Like a mirage or a rainbow. Life flows as it always has. Effortlessly. Spontaneously. Ever liberated. Without you or I. Only wholeness. Most beautiful without the meaning of beauty. Most precious without value. Radically free without personal will. Wonder without knowing. Full and empty. <laughs>